Now, all of this as millions of dollars from the city of El Paso's general fund is being used for upfront costs for the migrant crisis in our community. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live from the U.S.-Mexico border with a look at the concerns over the money being spent by the city. Well, Andy and Natasia, the city manager is saying that a million and a half dollars have been spent on this most recent quarter so far with the migrant crisis in our area, saying that was spent in just a very short time. Now, the city of El Paso also submitting reimbursement for over six million dollars spent during the previous quarter. Now, city representative Claudia Rodriguez calling for a disaster declaration to be issued, bringing up concerns over El Paso being reimbursed. But my concerns are that we continue to do this at the cost of our local taxpayers. We were promised over four weeks ago $2 million. Have we received that money for upfront cost? No, we have not. Representative Rodriguez also bringing up that surrounding counties are sending the vast majority of their unsponsored migrants to El Paso for processing. And Annie and Natasi, at the top of the show, you were explaining how those migrants need to have sponsors in the U.S. from Venezuela to be able to come. And the majority of those Venezuelan migrants that we've been seeing crossing here at El Paso do not have sponsors. That has been the challenge that we have been facing that's been different in the past. So we're going to have to see how this new announcement from DHS will affect us here locally. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, Shelby. Thank